Hey, I have an announcement. First thing you fix my hair, y'all, I'm sweating. It is hot up in here. That is the only downside about my bedroom is it gets so freaking hot. So hot. So if you follow me on social media, you probably know what I'm about to say because you're probably tired of me saying it, but you probably know that I moved cross country, but you probably don't know why I moved cross country. So I just wanted to sit down and give you guys a little life update. Let me just recap. I'm from a small town where there's nothing to do, nowhere to go, and usually you don't really, and don't come for me, but you really don't get out of the town. Like if you're born there, a lot of people stay there and they raise a family and they get a job and they just make their life in Tennessee. But for me, that was never going to be enough. Like I never wanted the small town life. I never really fit in. I always felt like I was on the outside. I always felt like my perspectives on life were different. And so why LA specifically? I don't know, just- Hey, listen, I definitely just spent like an hour trying to explain to you why I moved to LA. And I did a really bad job of it. So here I am editing and I'm just gonna try this again. So why LA? Why did I move to LA? Three reasons. One, I absolutely hated living in Tennessee. I hated living in the small town. I remember one year ago, I was laying in bed at home in my childhood home that I have like slept in since I was four years old and feeling so unfulfilled, just wishing that I could do something else, wishing that I could like go after the things in life that I wanted and just not enjoying my life in Tennessee. Two, I... What was two? Oh, two, I've always had this strange draw to LA, like not sure why, not sure where it came from, just a draw to the city, a draw to the entertainment industry, a draw to Hollywood culture in general. Um, and then also, what is three? Oh, and three, the things that I want to do in my life, like my aspirations, goals, my career, um, I don't see anyone else doing it in any, any other part of the country, but I do see tons of people doing it in LA and being successful at it. And so I thought if this was going to happen anywhere, it would happen in LA for me. And so what better reason do you need to move other than feeling unfulfilled, having an interest that's drawing you somewhere, and seeing the possibility of success? Okay, hopefully you won't hear from me again. I feel like that was the whole video, the whole purpose of the video, and I definitely just ruined it. Uh, but whatever. Okay, bye. Okay, so that's how I got to LA, but now I really want to tell you about my job and my living situation. I got a job three weeks in. I just kind of took the first job that hired me because I knew, like, I moved out here with $5,000 and I knew that wasn't going to last very long. I work in a coffee shop in Beverly Hills. It's like a plaza area and so the lobby has a coffee shop and then all the floors above it have different like entertainment offices so like marvel studios entertainment like fox is there family guy it's really cool because i get to make all these people coffee 
but like at the same time like that ain't why I moved to LA you know if I wanted to make coffee I could have stayed in Dyersburg I've been working there for almost three months now and it quite honestly is the hardest job I have ever done in my life just because it's kind of been really tough for me to like adjust to my job and do well at it like I just don't think this is the job for me and so <laughs> Not gonna lie, I definitely, definitely hate my job and I'm looking for something else. But until then, or until I get fired, which will probably happen at this rate, um, I'm gonna stay there. But I am looking for a different job. Ideally, I would really like a job at um, like a studio. So like Warner Brothers or 21st Century Fox or Netflix would be really cool. Interesting fact, it takes me an hour to get to work every morning and to get home. I only live 12 miles from my job, but with traffic, it takes about 50 something minutes. Anything else? Let's talk about my home. So I didn't even know where I was gonna live up until about what, like 12 hours before I was moving to LA. And I found this place on Facebook, LA Housing and Sublets. I saw this like post and to be honest, like the room didn't look too good. Like it didn't look great, but it looked livable and it was really cheap rent. Oh my gosh, this place exceeded my like wildest dreams. This place is so beautiful. I really just couldn't be happier. Like it's so beautiful. My kitchen is gorgeous. Like. My, oh my gosh, my door, my bedroom. I'm literally gonna have to make a house tour just to show you guys because I'm obsessed. I've never actually lived somewhere this nice. So the fact that I can like sit in my floor and have a cute little background and make a video is really exciting for me. Okay, y'all, I'm sure I've rambled enough. I don't know if anyone's watching. I don't know if this makes sense. I just wanted to film a video and tell you where I'm at and how I got here. And I wanted to encourage you guys a little bit because I've been there and I wish someone would have encouraged me. So with that said, I will see you later. And if you want to hear more about my life in LA or what it's like to live in LA, or if you just want to watch more of my videos, like go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. So, I'll see you later.